Hi friends, now uh, uh, I thought that I have should, should prepare this also topic of current reversal. What is the phenomenon of current reversal and how and what is the current reversal guard logic and how this phenomena or how this phenomena if the guard logic is not available will trip the line unnecessarily. So here you can see uh, this is basically a parallel line and it is fitted uh, by the two generators so let me read for you first for double circuit lines the fault current direction can change in one circuit when circuit breaker opens sequentially to clear the fault on the parallel line the change in current direction causes the overage distance element to see the fault in the positive direction to the direction in which the fault was initially detected setting of this element exceeds 150% of the line impedance at each terminal. The race between operation and resetting of the overreaching distance element at each line can cause propensive overreach and blocking schemes to trip healthy line. A system configuration that could result in current reversal is shown in figure for the fault on line 1. Close circuit breaker B as circuit breaker B trips it causes direction current flow in the line 2 to reverse. The current reversal logic is incorporated in product to prevent POR blocking schemes from tripping incorrectly during current reversal condition. So I will give you an example. For example, you have two lines which are parallel lines, and you find that if there is a fault on one line. This is the line between A and B where there is a real fault and uh, with line uh, when the, with the fault line if the healthy lines also trip if you find some such condition this could be because of current reversal which is taking place in the healthy line C and D and if the current reversal logic is not available, uh, enabled and properly setting is provided in that case this is the possibility that with the healthy line with the faulty line the healthy line also trips so first of all we will see how the current reversal is taking place for example there is a fault between a and b and in this case you will see the direction of fault current will be in the faulty line will be between from A to the fault from B to the fault this is the direction of current in the faulted line whereas the direction of current in the healthy line will be this generator will be also feeding the current from through C to D and this generator is also feeding the current to the fault so this is the fault direction so as soon as for example the breaker is open the breaker b is open now here you can see if the breaker b is open the direction of fault will be from this generator it is feeding from d to c to a so here you can see when the as soon as the breaker b is open the direction of fault current is now reversed because of this is this path is open the this generator will be feeding the fault current through d to c then a to to the fault point so that you can see clearly the current reversal is taking place so this is the current reversal logic so let's see what this logic is doing and uh, for the mall operation for example now in stage one when this relay c is seeing fault in zone 2 for example seeing the fault in zone 2 and it will pick up and it will send a transmit uh, permissive signal to the remote end for example permissive over signal to the uh, to the d now and the, at, at the present you can see d is not seeing any fault in the fault direction but it is see, receiving a signal but as soon as the breaker b is open so when this is open the fault is now the fault feeding is now also in the forward direction so if the fault feeding is in the forward direction this relay at the d is now picked up and already it has a permissive signal from station c so it can easily in that case uh, 
do the mall tripping at local end and also it will send permissive signal at the remote end so this line C and D although there is no fault but because of current reversal will trip because of this current reversal which is taking place between line C and D so what is the solution solution is very simple for example again we will see now the case when there is a fault between A and B and the fault current is flowing from C to D this relay at C is picked up with zone to 2 or Z1B extension zone uh, and it will sending the transfer trips uh, permissive signal to D but at the D you will see the relay will pick up in the reverse direction so a timer will be incorporated that if the relay is uh, picked up in reverse direction then it will block the any tra uh, transmit uh, trip signal to remote end for a given time which will be enough to carry the fault for example so it will block the signal transmit sense uh, and it will and when this breaker is open and this will keep blocking until the breaker at A is also open so the fault is clear and there will be no tripping at this section C and D so let's go through the definition the current reversal guard incorporate in permissive overage scheme logic is initiated when reverse looking zone 4 element or any zone element operates on healthy line so if it, the relay at D see the fault in reverse direction it will not it will block the permissive send signal once the reverse the zone 4 element have operated the permissive trip logic and signal send logic are inhibited at station D that we have discussed this now the D will not send any signal and it will also not trip um, if permissive signal is received the reset of current reversal guard timer is initiated when the reverse looking zone 4, four reset a time delay uh, T reversal guard is required in case overreaching trip element at D operates before the signal sent from protection C has reset so for example if there is a time delay here that at C the signal will be persisted for given time for example the, there is a pulse of 100 millisecond so the D should be at least blocking more than this time so the timer is set to be safe a time delay T reversal guard is required in case overreaching, uh, overreaching trip element at and D operates before the signal sent from production at and C has reset otherwise it would cause the product uh, at D to overreach permissive tripping of for the product D and C substation is enabled again, again once the fault line is isolated and the current reversal guard timer has expired the current reversal guard incorporated in the block scheme logic is initiated when a blocking scheme elements pick up to inhibit the channel added trip when the current reverses and the reverse blocking zone 4 element reset the blocking signal is maintained by time or a T reversal guard therefore the protection in the healthy line are prevented from overreaching due to sequential opening of the circuit breaker in faulted line after the faulted line is isolated the reverse looking zone 4 element at substation C and the for forward looking element at substation D reset so this is the example of current reset um, if your concept is clear you can understand any logic diagram so this is very important concept of current reversal and if you are having the issue in your system that the two there are two health lines the fault in one healthy line the other health line also trips so you have to see by this concept and you might need to enable this current reversal logic in your protection scheme and if it is not available nowadays we have numerical relays you can even design this logic by yourself by enabling a reverse zone and you can block any permissive signal and, uh, uh, and, uh, and with some time delay for, for duration if the relays pick up in reverse it should not send any permissive signal 
so this is very important to understand so i hope you you understand this topic thank you very much